While you're distracted by this, uh, Abel actually turns his head and bites your arm. He sinks the teeth in pretty far. Oh my god. That's the only noise you hear from him is Oh yeah, he he actually you have a you have a condition fucking bite human bite? I don't know what that consequence is. It's a minor one. Um he sinks his teeth really far in though. <laughs> Jesus. You kind of feel like you gotta let him go because that shit yeah. hurts. Yeah, he let us, lets him go. <laughs> he lets him go. He's just like, mm. and lets him go and looks at his sleeve and looks to Abel. Abel's Abel, going, ooh. Abel has a mouthful of blood that he smiles at you with before he takes off sprinting. <laughs> He's going to sprint right after him. All right, he is he is on the run. The cops, I mean the the the, the peacemakers, like turn their cars around and begin driving after him. As well. uh, he doesn't seem to have supernatural abilities of any kind. It's just that he's out of his fucking mind. You uh, chase alongside the police officers, some of which who have gotten out of their vehicle to chase on foot. Abel is madness this man is like grabbing civilians and throwing them backwards uh he's waving a gun around and he even fires off a shot but not at you guys just in the air to make people panic and run away you actually hear some of the patrol guys that are chasing alongside you like on the radio saying it's him it's him it's him it's, him. it's, him. it's, him. it's able like they are they know who this is they are chasing him, and with kind of the coordination that you're able to provide because of your orderly ways, um, they are able to catch up to him. Um, but it's at a moment when he is kind of in the middle of the street. So you guys are all on the sidewalk, and he is in the middle of a very busy intersection. Cars are speeding by super, super fucking fast. He is in the middle of it. And he's just like, he, just, he had just sprinted out there. And when he sees that, uh, like, you want to try to pursue him through all the moving traffic, it is very fucking fast. And the automated systems don't even seem to register that he's there. Stan will go out there so that way he doesn't, like, get hit by a car. Sure. You want to just go out and, like, sock him? Yeah, just sock him. With a five. Are you but... shitting me? No, don't worry, because you hit... You hit him hard. You fucking nail this dude, like right in the fucking face. His nose explodes with blood. You actually see a tooth fly out of his mouth and he fucking flies backwards right through the windshield of a car that keeps going once he's through it, halfway sticking out and takes off down the fucking street. <laughs> You hear a person inside, whoever was inside that car, scream, and you see him kind of like start to wiggle and like move into the vehicle. Uh, the cops look on at this and just say, holy shit. Because as far as they can tell, he just fucking threw himself. Into a car, they can't see yeah. the The car keeps going. Um, it just, it goes off into the distance. Law enforcement is already sprinting to their to their own vehicles, and they just one of them turns to you and says, "We'll take it from here. We'll take it from here. Just, just get out of here. Just, just stay away from that man. He's fucking insane." Fixes his collar. I mean, notice lapel, um, and sort of like sniffs, like, "You're not gonna catch him. We'll see about that. I mean, I know you're right, and quite frankly, it bothers me a great deal." And honestly, the last time we did catch him, he got out anyway, and then he just has enough money to just buy his way out. It's really absurd, but that's an issue for law enforcement, not for a civilian like yourself. Perhaps through political reform, legal crusades, we might be able to one day nail down the villain that is able. Sorry, I just had a moment where I had to lay out a great deal of exposition. Now, if you'll excuse me. His friend actually comes over and says, hey man, we're gonna lose him. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, Roland goes, yeah. You're gonna lose him. Office. Sorry, it's just so, so hard, hard to wake up in the morning knowing that Abel is still out there. Damn him. You like, you actually see him like just throw down a piece of garbage on the ground. 
that he just had for some he reason. Just had, he just had like a can in his hand that he just throws on the ground. Damn that Abel! Roland picks up the can. He, he throws it down. He had to pick it up like right away. <laughs> He's just so damn good at what he does. And what he does is bad. Shit, get the cars. Get that bastard. Are you... Are you a fan? No! Do you like this? No! You're really selling. You're really hyping him up a lot. You know, it's like those hip-hop performers and those guys they have running around all over the stage. You're one of them. A hype Not man. Not true. Just because he wears sharp suits and sunglasses all the time and seems to have an endless amount of wealth and no real job or responsibilities. Just causing havoc. According to his whims. I hate him so much. I think you're just jealous. Uh, the other guy who came to pat him on uh, take him is like, yeah, I mean, he's kind of like, as an aside, it's like, yeah, you're right, you're, you're right, but we have to go. We we have to. And then he tries to lead his friend away. You can hear him, though, as he's being led Damn away, saying, you. Damn you, Abel! They, they, they uh, do line up into their, get into their vehicles and take off. Uh, probably is a futile effort. Uh, Abel has traveled quite a distance in this car that he crashed through. And uh, it's up to them now, I guess, to track down the maniac Abel. You have successfully saved Tyson, however, who is in the care, I assume, of uh, Miss B, Ricky, and Marisol. Marisol's patting him on the back. Hey, man, I think you, you've been having too much caffeine. You, you you have to remember strangers. They're dangerous. Well, it was a thing. I went, So I really, like, nobody told me before that soda was good. My parents said, don't drink soda, ever. And I said, uh, okay, mom, okay, okay, papa, I won't have any soda. Well, but then I was, I, was at, I, was at a, I was at a dance and this girl who was really cool came up to me and said, hey, drink this soda. And I said, oh, okay. And, and then that is, that, is, that is when I fell into a dark spiral. I, just because a girl offered you soda? Yeah. Oh, Tyson. It was really good and cold. I really enjoyed the flavor. Well, uh, you know, you're still a minor, so you have to tell your parents what you're doing now. Oh, no. Yep, you gotta come clean. You're oh, no, no, please. He looks like he's really scared of that, <laughs> that possibility. Or you can cut cold turkey, and when you become an adult, you can drink all the soda you want because you have no one to answer to. Uh, okay. <laughs> he flags down a waitress. Excuse me. Did I have cold turkey, please? No, Tyson. Uh, it's an expression. Well, an Earth expression, anyway. But cold turkey is okay to eat, I'm sure. <laughs> I'll have cold turkey instead of soda. I don't know if that's a better replacement, but sure. Uh, Miss B, now that that guy is not our problem anymore, <coughs> uh, what was it here that you wanted to do? Honestly, I just wanted to eat a nice meal. I didn't think that maniac would be. It was a good thing your friend was here to chase him out, though. I mean, I wasn't going to get involved. He did shoot Ricky, though. Hmm. Mm. He's out of our hands now, Miss B. Also, he's not my friend. That uh, that butler boy? Not your friend? No, not really. He's just kind of like, uh, I don't know. He's just doing his job. He's very cold, and he keeps calling me a prostitute. So. Oh, that's fucked up. You want me to kill him? Oh no, no, no. I, I. He's just some moon guy that just, you know, he has his thoughts. I see, I see. Yeah, snob, so. But, I mean, I guess he saved the day a couple times, so I can't hate on him too much. Well, he was one of the boys that helped uh, save the bar from that maniac with the machine gun off. Yeah, uh, he was also uh, the guy that was with me when we went to go deliver your special brew. That's right, yeah. Yeah, maybe I should hire him. Yeah, go for it. Okay. So I won't kill him. 
yeah, he's very useful to have around. He's just not a friend material, I guess. He's got to stop calling you a hooker, though. That ain't nice. Oh, I, I'll just come up with something to call him back, I guess. It'll balance out. Okay, I have an idea. Call him a nerd. Oh. Tyson, Tyson looks immediately, like, shocked. Whoa. I didn't think it was... Okay, you know what? I'll try it. Tyson holds up a finger. You, you, can't, you can't call people nerds. That's me. It is Tyson. It's like one of those words that you can't say to people because it's, it's like pro, 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 um, pro basketball. <laughs> a, a pro fan. Oh, profanity. Oh, that makes sense. How do you spell that? Uh, with an F, Tyson. Oh. <laughs> I learned something today. All right, y'all. He actually starts to look pretty happy. Um, we all do. Kind of, Miss B looks at him sideways, and then she leans over to Marisol. Are you, are you sure this boy's okay? No, I don't actually. All right. Those people are so damn weird. Yeah. Thus brings to a conclusion the short side adventure of Marisol, Roland, Miss B, Ricky Ross, Sweet Sangria, and Tyson, who you've rescued from who knows what Abel was going to do with him. Well, actually, as the scene ends, as this story does come to a close, you see Tyson reach into his pocket and pull out a cigarette. Oh, no! Between his lips and then take out a light. Tyson, no. See, he's been corrected. You got it. This is where, this is where, like, just before it closes and the frame freezes, they got to see Marisol, like, diving at him to stop him from lightening it up. You know, yeah, like yeah. a G.I. Joe episode or something. He has it, like, backwards, too, in his mouth, like the filter <laughs> sticking out. <laughs> no. And that's where we'll close, with, I guess, with Marisol. Marisol would probably try to keep him from smoking. Like the wrong end of it. He's only 14. He's only 14.